Why did you want the game to go ahead? Why were you so keen? It was a long journey. Dear me. Well, the thing is, and, and, and I, I hope Tom will think the same as myself, we don't want a backlog. Both is in the Cups, you know, they're in the Europa, we're in the Champions Week, but we're both in the FA Cup, we've got weak programmes, you don't want a backlog. Is payback a motivation for you and your side today? Not at all, no, no. I mean, you never think that way, you never. And what sort of game do you expect against Tottenham? Well, it's always a good football match, I think, expect that today. It'll be competitive, obviously. But it's a, it's a terrific pitch, you know, it's, 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 and it's a great football stadium. It's one of the, the stadiums I enjoy come to. So hope for a good game. Thanks, Alex. Thanks so much. And it usually is. Now, Jamie, at the start of the season, it looked unlikely the man on the left there, Michael Dawson, would Absolutely. be leading. It's on a big day for the centre. We were looking so. to sell him at the start of the year, but a lot of fans weren't happy because they see him as a vital part of what Spurs do here. Great competitor, a little bit like the man next to him, Vidic. They love, they're old school, they'll enjoy this today. Um, and I also think playing alongside Corker is a bit of a surprise. I think maybe why he's brought Corker in is just for that added bit of pace that he has. I like the tongue and I think he's a very, very good centre half. But interesting that he's gone with those two. He's rotating his centre halves all the time, which is not not usual to Bernie. It's an unusual thing to do. But it'd be interesting against the likes of Vinic and Ferdinand. Well, you talk about rotation of centre halves, and obviously we're just speaking about Robin Van Persie and the importance of him. But if Vidic and Ferdinand stay fit for the rest of the season, United's chances of, of winning things dramatically improve.